Hello, welcome back to Cinema Burger, where I bring you movie reviews from a different perspective. We continue our Christmas movie reviews with another unconventional Christmas movie called Fat Man. It stars Mel Gibson as Kris Kringle, aka Santa Claus, as he is having trouble making ends meet due to lack of good children in the world. And him and his wife named Ruth are struggling to pay the elves and things like that. Mel Gibson plays Santa Claus and Walt Goggins plays a hitman hired by this kid named Billy who is spoiled and rich and does whatever he wants to get what he wants. So Santa is very like grizzly looking and he's not the jolliest looking person you've ever seen but deep down he does the right thing. He uh, questions society a lot and why children are getting worse and worse and in an attempt to help make more money for him and the elves he signs a deal with the military to make weapons. Now this is a world where Santa's existence is well known, they don't know where he lives, but it seems that people know he exists but at the same time they are not sure. It's a little confusing at times, but they explain like how Santa and the elves stay young, they talk about how the elves eat a high sugar and carb diet like seven times a day which is actually kind of interesting and it, they say like Santa has been living this long because of holiday cheer even though he looks old now it's because there's less and less kids for being good but based on the trailer for this movie you see like the hitman played by Walt Goggins and Santa and they're they're setting up like an epic fight between the two now this movie is about an hour and 40 minutes and the biggest problem is the build-up for such, I guess, a minor fight? I don't know. Because near the last 20 minutes is when you get to the fight between the Hitman and Santa Claus. Throughout the movie, we see the Hitman's whereabouts. We see Santa going about his day and dealing with the uh, contemplation of having the military him working for the military I mean we see the spoiled kid Billy he lost a science fair and he basically tortures the girl who won and like blackmails the school into giving him the first place award which is pretty barbaric now the reason this kid Billy puts a hit out on Santa is because he got a lump of coal for Christmas because he is a bad spoiled child now, when Santa agrees to work with the military, they set up their shop with the elves, and they explain, like, what they're doing. Now, the military never really, like, belittles anyone. They don't, like, belittle the elves or look down on Santa and anybody, which is good. I was surprised that they didn't do that. About halfway through the movie, Billy calls his hitman because Billy's father is like rich and powerful but you never see him. He calls the hitman to put the hit on Santa as he just finished another hit. Now Walt Goggins who plays this hitman, they establish that he's not a big fan of Christmas and when he was younger his father like put cigarette burns in his arm. So basically John Bender from The Breakfast Club grew up to be a hitman basically. Now another thing about Santa is that just by looking at a person he knows their name and everything about them is because Santa knows when you're sleeping, when you're awake, when you're naughty, when you're nice. But he just knows everything about everyone which is interesting. Now when he meets the uh, hitman near the end he knows who he is and why he's gone down the path that he has. Now 
in the beginning they show Santa with a gun, he's just practicing shooting at cans. So at the end, when he's fighting the hitman, there's a gun battle, and they're hiding behind cover and things like that, and there's going to be some spoilers, so if you don't want to spoil anything, stop here. Um, Santa gets shot, so does the hitman, and Santa gets shot in the head, and you think, oh, is Santa dead? Because I wasn't expecting that. But at the end, his wife, Ruth, shoots the hitman, and they save the day from the hitman. Now, throughout the movie, they were building up this f shootout or fight between the hitman and Santa, and to be honest, it was a little lackluster, but near the end, you see Billy in his house, and all of a sudden, you hear a knock on the door, and... It's his wife, Ruth, and Santa, he has survived. And he basically threatens Billy that if he keeps doing bad stuff, he's going to, like, kill Billy's sick grandmother. Because he's tired of all these bad kids and the, the havoc they're wreaking on the world. Now, I like this really direct approach, and to be honest, this was more satisfying than the actual fight scene that they were building up in the trailer. And Santa vows to, like, take, like, be less hard on himself in the world and to build the, shop, the North Pole shop a little bigger so he can make more toys and things like that. And that's how the movie ends. Now, overall, it is not an unconventional Christmas movie. It does focus on the holidays and, like, good and bad children. The premise is pretty cool. It's definitely something you haven't seen before. Could they have taken it a little further? I think so. Mel Gibson does an okay job. I mean, he's not a good person in real life. His acting skills are still somewhat good, I guess. Like, seeing him as a grizzled Santa is kind of cool, I guess. Now, they have interesting aspects of how they view Santa and like the rules of Santa and the elves in this movie universe. It does somewhat feel realistic once they show the elves and things like that because before then it could have just been some guy named Chris Kringle. But showing the elves makes it a little bit more believable. Which I liked. Now, thankfully, when the hitman raids Santa's workshop, he kills all the military people, but he doesn't kill any elves, which I was very happy about. I thought it would have been a little barbaric to start, like, killing elves and things like that, but they don't. They only, he only kills, like, military personnel. Now, what would I rate this out of, for a Christmas movie? I, I think I'd give it a three out of five burgers. Because overall, it was enjoyable while you're waiting for this climax to happen. They do a good job of, like, setting up, like, a world in this movie. Unfortunately, you're waiting for the climax of the last 20 minutes, and the initial fight is a little lackluster, but when he gets revenge on the kid is a lot more satisfying. So... Would I recommend this movie? Yeah, I would, I guess. It's available to rent now. It's like $5.99 on Amazon, I guess. If you want something a little different, I'd check it out. It's Production value is decent. It's not, like, really low budget. Like, to the point of looking cheap. So, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend Fat Man. Alright, I'm Scott Berger, and I'll see you next time.